How do all of you delicious people in here today to review Dark Shadows from 2012? I say that simply because there is a TV show that this is adapted from. And so I gotta say that, like, since this is a Tim Burton movie, I knew I was kind of be won over by visuals, but story is just not really there. It feels like they could have gone on and built to a number of Colin's family members, and instead they just tended to focus on the shortest amount of people, which is to be Barnabas, and is to be Angelique, and sometimes Elizabeth. And it's like, man, like, there's a number of reveals that technically happen at the end of this movie that they really could have built towards instead of spending time with uh, characters like Alice Cooper and giving him performances in this movie and are to go on and like just kind of give certain characters that I'm like why was this character deemed so important and like it also feels like there was backstories for characters that I was just like this didn't feel all that important but I could probably understand why they did it uh, so, yeah, so with that said, I feel like this movie is just okay at the end of the day. Uh, it's, yeah, um, like I had fun watching it just because of the visuals. Uh, but yeah, it just, there wasn't enough there for me to 100% care about this film to be sold by it. Uh, so with that said, this movie's conveniently on Netflix. I'm going to, as much as possible, try to tee this up. So, with that said, we have it in this film where I'm, I'm going to go very vague within the teeing up of this. Uh, so, Barnabas. Barnabas is to go on and have a family uh, that is to make their way from England uh, to Collinsport, a town that they are to make themselves. Uh, from them revolutionizing the uh, fish industry. And so uh, it seems that the Collins family is to go on and take 15 years to build the Collins Wood uh, Woods uh, home. And so Barnabas is to find himself in lovemaking, but not in love, with Angelique. Angelique, of course, is desperately asked for Barnabas' love, but Barnabas is like, well, I don't want to lie, but I'm not going to tell you that I love you. And Angelique is like, what? So Barnabas, I guess a scorned possible lover, is to then start to use black magic and become a witch to then go on and curse Barnabas and the family and anyone connected to him and is to start just killing them off to where even Barnabas himself is tempted to do, uh, is to just die to where justifyingly enough he turns into a vampire. Then Barnabas is to be sent away to be put into a coffin and I'll explain this a lot more when we actually get into spoilers. And then Barnabas for some miraculous way, because construction workers are far too curious, hence why you would go on and watch like Money More from Power Rangers the movie and see the exact same thing, to have Barnabas, who is to want to reinsert himself upon the Collins family and to refocus upon building the Collins family back up from once shambles it was. And then to realize it seems that Angelique is somehow still alive because which and so like this whole conflict is going to be happening all over again. And yeah, there's just like big reveals at the end of this movie where I'm just like, man, could have marinated on a more. <laughs> so uh so yeah, so interesting things, but not interesting enough. Um, but yeah, but I, I would recommend this movie. Like, people might have, like, different kind of wide varieties of feelings about this film. People could hate it. People could thoroughly enjoy it much more so than I did. Good for you. Because at the end of the day, I think it's about time to just go into spoilers about this one. 
It's on Netflix currently. If you cannot be able to find it on Netflix, you probably will be able to go and watch any number of reviews that I've gone through uh, of time of which that I've been here. You may be able to say that you can watch this movie for absolutely free because uh, I will consistently list a number of apps that I've used over time that you can find, hopefully, uh, to find a movie or show for, you know, free. So, other than that, I think it's time to wrap uh, all this up and just go into spoilers about this. So, with that said, I'm going to go on and double five this bad boy up to go into spoilers. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you felt about Dark Shadows, either if you went on and watched the show or you went on and watched this movie. Uh, maybe you would go on and say that the show was better. Hmm. That might be interesting eventually to check that out at some point. Uh, I love horror stuff. I like supernatural things. And like, so I was just kind of like, you know what? Like I saw this movie once before, but like, I want to like, just kind of get my like feelings of it because like, you know what? Like I felt like I liked this movie, but I had problems with it. But anyways, uh, finding out that it was a Tim Burton movie, I was like, Hmm. <laughs> It's too good to to not want to go on and, and see this. So, with that said, let's go on. Spoiler time. Spoiler time. It's about the time we can just spoil this movie. So, beginning of this film, we, of course, have kind of like what I was saying for Tee Up. Uh, Barnabas is to go on and have a mother and father who, of course, is to uh, leave uh europe to go on and uh, make their way on to Collins sport uh and to have their wealth uh into a uh fishing revolutional business and revolutionizing business and so Collins is to go on and have his family build this house like i said before and is to be with Angelique, like I said before. And so Barnabas is to then go on after being with uh, Angelique briefly. Angelique is to use her witchcraft-like powers to kill both of Collins' family. And then Collins is to go on and start to look into witchcraft or black magic because he is to feel that somehow... That his family may be cursed, weirdly, just because of these two deaths. And so Collins is to go on and find himself eventually in love with a girl named Gisette. And so Barnabas is to fall in love with this woman. And of course, Angelique, who is to be a woman scorned by this, is to then go on and want Josette dead. By her going to Widow's Hill, where she is to uh, fall off this hill and is to die. Barnabas, who is grief stricken by this loss, is to go on and follow Josette into the fall of death to then be resurrected and find out that he's weirdly a vampire. Because story. <laughs> like. We don't find out that Angelique is a vampire also. It just, like, no. Like, just magically, like, he's just a vampire. Uh, I guess there was just some, like, uh, workaround curse. And Angelique was to show up at the, the tip of Widow's Hill. Like, yeah, like, you're going to be a vampire now. Deal with that. So, we have, of course... Angelique, who is to go with a lynch mob of people within this town, and is to point out to people that Barnabas is a monster, and everyone is to believe her, and so Barnabas is to be put into this coffin, and is to be chained up, and is to be buried uh, for a number of years. So, because I guess Barnabas was stoned, and it didn't work. So... Now we have a number of years that have passed, and so we now have 72 uh, to be Barnabas's uh, coming out of coffin party. So 
we have this whole family of the Collinses who are gearing up for a, a woman addition uh, within their household because we have a woman coming off this uh, this train uh, who is to say that she is Maggie so-and-so, but then is to change her name to Victoria Winters, which is to say, like, okay, so there's something shady about this woman that she is to not really be who she says she is. So Victoria Winters is to show up at the Colin household and say that she is looking uh, for that governess uh, position and is to hope that it's not filled yet. So... Victoria is to speak with Elizabeth, and Elizabeth is to start asking uh, Victoria a number of questions that was on the, the, the resume, and was asking her about the president, was asking about, uh, like, equality and genders, and, like, I think that those were, uh, the, uh, like, hey, do you, how do you feel about the war? I'm, I don't watch TV. Like, all that kind of jazz. So, Elizabeth is to show, uh, of course, uh, Victoria to a number of family members and a number of people. And, because Victoria is to go on and have to have a close watch over David, who is to have some mental illness because of his mother uh, going on and dying at sea. And so David is to go on and uh, be left within this family uh, because this is the only real left part of the Collins family just really left over. So we have Victoria who meets up with Caroline, who uh, eventually will have a big secret by the end of this movie, as well as another person. Caroline is to talk to Victoria and say, ooh, like, hey, you were in uh, New York once. I think in a year or so from now, I'm going to go on and live there also. And Elizabeth's like, yeah, yeah, like, go on and just fantasize about that because it'll never come true. So... We then have Elizabeth, who is to be given to Willie, who Willie is to mention that this place was to house 100 people that were to kind of clean this place up. And now it's just left to Willie and this old lady, who, of course, is to go on and be a woman who is to be a bucket without a bottom. And so he's just kind of left with her. So now that we've gotten all that covered... We have it where Barnabas is in his coffin and there's a bunch of construction workers who are to go on and open up this coffin and is to realize there is a man in there that is to slice and dice through all of these men and to say that he's very thirsty. So all of a sudden Barnabas is to approach a McDonald's sign and call it uh, Beelzebub and... <laughs> Then Barnabas is to go on and think that the devil is to be possibly following him, but instead it's just a car that is on the road. So Barnabas is to make his way back to the Collins house and is to uh, meet with Willie, who of course is to be drunk. And Barnabas is to talk to Willie and find out that it is 1971, 72, 71, 72, <laughs> whichever it is, it's 70 something. So, and for also Willie to tell him that it's October, hence why they have pumpkins there. So, because Barnabas is to be doing his whole hypnotizing thing upon Willie, uh, getting uh, Willie to spill information. So, Barnabas is to go into the family home and is to talk with uh, Caroline and to say that she's a woman of the night and is to just kind of meet up with the family members and is to tell them, yes, I am that same uh, guy upon that portrait and the number of hours that I had spent uh, to do that portrait was well worth it. <laughs> so... 
Barnabas is to go and meet up with Elizabeth and tell her the truth about who he is and then is to also turn around and give her this secret passageway to this specific room with all of these treasures in it and Elizabeth is like oh my god like we've been sitting under wealth this whole entire time and Barnabas is like well yeah like I don't want any of this I can give this all to you like, I just want to go on and become a part of your family again, like I had done uh, centuries before, years before. And Elizabeth is like, hmm, like, that seems like a reasonable, like, like a reasonable thing as she is kind of holding a knife in, uh, in the, uh, in, of course, behind her. So... Barnabas and Elizabeth are to shake on this, and so this, of course, is to lead uh, to uh, also a number of these family members uh, being at dinner, and Roger is to mention that he is to, of course, hate the fact that Willie is to go on and make pot roast, and he hopes that it's anything but that. And so all these family members are kind of talking to one another, and uh, that's great. And so Barnabas is then to go on and meet them for breakfast and is to have like waffle set in front of him where he doesn't go on and do anything with that because of course he doesn't. So, so these guys all to our like uh, talk here and that's when we have Victoria who is to meet up with uh, Barnabas and he's like, oh my God, like, Please tell me that you don't have anything shorter for uh, Victoria because I don't think I would be able to uh, not go on to say any other name but Victoria. So we have it to where Barnabas is smitten, of course, with, uh, with Victoria. And so we get within this movie that Barnabas is then to go on and ask uh, Caroline about how to uh, be able to win over a woman in this day of age. And Caroline, who of course is 15, and Barnabas is saying like, well, why aren't you married off yet? Like you have, <laughs> you have, uh, like you have uh, women bearing hips and this and that. So we have it where like Caroline is to go on and uh, of course uh, give Barnabas the fact that he needs to go on and uh, and meet up with some people and Barnabas goes on and meets up with a bunch of hippies which he at first is to kind of be passing around this weed and is to talk to them. But then Barnabas is like, well, it's good that we've like had this discussion and I kind of regret the fact that I'm gonna have to tell you all that I'm gonna kill all of you. And they're like, what? So yeah, Barnabas goes through and just starts slicing and dicing, like of course vampire ways to kill all these people. And so, Barnabas is to then go on and decide that they need to go on and eventually kind of up the ante of things. Especially when we also have Angelique who is to find out that Barnabas is to go on and be back with this family. And so at some point Angelique is to have her presence eventually to be known by uh, Barnabas. And so that kind of goes on and has Barnabas is like, well, like we got to go on and have some like one upsman things being done. So Barnabas is to go on and do this thing that he calls a ball. But then uh, Carolyn is to say that it's actually a happening. And so Barnabas is like, okay, like, well, let's go on and have this, this, this thing. So we have it where, 
of course, Caroline is to set up uh, that she is to say, like, well, you need like a disco ball, you need Alice Cooper, and you need, like, a bunch of liquor. And so Barnabas is like, well, I think I can get every single one of those things because he's wealthy. So Barnabas goes on to eventually, like, get all these things accomplished. And so since Angelique is to find out that this party is going on, she is to try to find Barnabas and is to eventually tell him that, uh, or tell uh, him that she is still alive. So, Angelique is to meet with Barnabas, and so, like, things are to go horribly awry, and so, but at some point, though, Barnabas is to tell uh, Victoria technically how he feels, and Victoria is to say, like, well, yeah, like, it seems that Caroline was to tell me that I have childbearing hips, and... <laughs> And Barnabas is like, well, that's not exactly what I meant, but, uh, like, <laughs> I don't know how to, like, express my feelings. So, but yeah, so we have where Alice Cooper is to go on and is to do these songs. And so it seems that Barnabas is to also, within this, because uh, there's a lot of things going on at this uh, happening. So... Barnabas is to notice that David is to be kind of holding, uh, like, protection from this door. And Barnabas is like, well, like, David, how about you kind of go on and, like, I'll, like, see about this door. So, come to find out, we find Roger, of course, is to be sleeping around another woman. And... We have it, of course, where Barnabas is to take care of that and is to tell Roger, it's like, well, hey, you do one of two things. You either go on and you try to be a better father figure to David or you go on, you leave his house and I'll give you enough money to be able to do that. And so Roger is to go on and decide to just leave this house. I'm like, well, like this guy wasn't all much well used anyways. And so now we actually also have Dr. Julia Hoffman. And so Barnabas is to go on and speak with Julia, uh, who had been uh, David's doctor for a number of years, three years, I believe. And so Julia eventually is to talk with uh, Barnabas and uh, she at one point is to hypnotize him and to find out that she is realizing that Barnabas is to be a vampire. And so Julia goes to Elizabeth with this information. And Elizabeth is like, well, like, think about this, like, Julia. Like, you can go on and, like, do a lot of, like, experiments that you wouldn't be able to normally do. And, like, think of all the possibilities. And Dr. Julia Hoffman is like, well, yeah, like, that does seem like a really interesting thing to do. So, Barnabas is to go on and get blood transfusions from Dr. Hoffman. But then all of a sudden we end up finding out that Dr. Hoffman is to use these... Uh, blood transfusions upon herself to try and get Barnabas to make her a vampire through simple blood transfusions. And Barnabas is to find out about this and is to go on and drain uh, Dr. Hoffman and then is to just go on and dump her body into the ocean at some point or into the water at some point. So with, with also Willie's help. So, now that I've covered most of that, because, like, those characters are to be quickly taken away within this film. So, Barnabas, after finding out that Angelique is back, he is to go on and want to make a, uh, a canning company, a Collins canning company. And 
he is to go on and persuade uh, this guy named uh, Clarney to join his company instead of Angelique's company. And Carney's like, well, like, you don't really understand that uh, a guy like me is to live off loyalty and I can't just go on and be a part of your company. Uh, like, it just, like, just wouldn't work. So, we, of course, have a tour of Barnabas to hypnotize Clarney here. And I'm like, man, this is Christopher Lee. This is Dracula. Like, of course, we've gone on and have Christopher Lee, like, guest to appear in just a number of things at this point. And it's also just so cool. And it's just so cool to see him here and have him have this like role where he's like, oh, okay, like I'll just go on and, and, and help you here. So, so now we have it where of course we have this canning company that's going really well. And so Angelique is starting to realize that her like, uh, like she's starting to lose ground and then she needs to figure out a way to snuff out the Collins family. So Angelique, of course, is to figure out that she is to eventually go on and like explode the Collins uh, canning company factory and then is to go on and want to destroy Barnabas and the whole Collins family. And so, and do the whole like same thing all over again, where Angelique is to figure out some way to have a lynch mob take care of Barnabas and put him in a coffin again and like just bury him. But second time around doesn't work out that all that well. Because David is to free uh, Barnabas from his coffin. But again, like, we still have it to where Angelique is to want to figure out some way to get rid of uh, Barnabas by possibly putting him in a cell or doing something. So, Barnabas is to... Uh, eventually be uh, at this home and is to eventually be tempted to reach out to Angelique and is to kind of like call her all these kind of things that she's like the the devil succubus and all <laughs> and all this jazz but then Angelique is to throw her body at Barnabas and he just cannot uh, not be tempted uh, and so Barnabas is to go on and uh, basically uh, make love to Angelique but not again be in love as Angelique is saying like well all you need to go and do is just confess your love to me and I will get you give you whatever you want and Barnabas is like well like I'm sorry but I still cannot do that so So Angelique, again, this scorned lover, is to go on and eventually come to this house and want to go on and take down this entire family. And after Barnabas is to be uh, shoved in this coffin again and then is to come back, Angelique is to come back with this sheriff and is to want Barnabas arrested because he is to possibly confess about the number of people that he has to go on and kill, uh, like the hippies and like the, uh, the doctor and a number of people that he had, to, uh, the construction workers. And so it seems that this sheriff is kind of taking this as a confession and is tempted to go on and like, well, I think we should go on arrest this guy where we really have Barnabas who is to use his power to hypnotize the sheriff and is to persuade him to not do that. So, But we have Barnabas and we have Angelique that are at like throats of one another 
to lead to this fight between the two of them. So, in that fight just leads to uh, things like Caroline revealing that she's a werewolf, uh, revealing uh, that David is to have his mother uh, still be with them as a ghost. Uh, we also had it at some points where Victoria was to be warned by Josette that, uh, that of course Barnabas is coming and like she was to just kind of be warned by things. Uh, like we had it at one point where David was to wear this like ghost, uh, sheet and we have it to where Victoria is to make the, these kind of like Halloween jokes. So So we have it where everybody is trying to go on and take down Angelique here. And it really just rests on uh, David's mother's ghost to uh, have Angelique hit into the chandelier. Because this girl is to really just be broken up uh, as far as body parts goes, like, she's just trying to, like, she's just trying to hold herself together as bits and pieces of her are starting to crackle and fall off. So, we then go on and have it where Barnabas is to eventually make it to Angelique, and... Angelique, before she is to die, is to give Barnabas her heart, and Barnabas will not accept it, and eventually the heart will just, like, be just crushed, and then Angelique here is to finally just die. So, we had it where, like, this... Houses to start to, uh, like, burst into flame. And there's a number of sculptures that, of course, are attacking these family members as they're trying to go on and, like, defend this house. And so, eventually when Caroline, or the wolf girl, is to go on and get taken down by Angelique... Uh, Elizabeth is to kind of carry her out of the house as well as like having Elizabeth getting the rest of the family just all out of there. Even Willie, who is to have this axe where like there's nothing for him to be able to do with that. Plus we had Angelique mentioning like how she was to go on and do away with everybody uh, in this home to have Angelique have a werewolf come into Caroline's room and to bite her to, of course, have David's mother go off to the sea to get killed by Tuna. And so David is to realize that. And so we, so we have it where, of course, Barnabas is after he is to take down Angelique, he is to, of course, go on and uh, make his way out of this house to realize that he is to help Victoria uh, before she is to fall to her death. Because realizing that Victoria is probably going to fall to the same fate as... Of course, Josette had gone to before. So we have it to where Elizabeth uh, is looking on as her house is burning. And we have it to where, like, I think David is to ask Elizabeth. It's like, well, like, what are we going to do now? And Elizabeth is saying, like, well, we're going to do what we always do, endure. Because Elizabeth is to also mention how she is to feel... Like, this family is to have a curse, and so, like, this is something that they're just used to by now. So, Barnabas is to rush off to Widow's Hill to try and stop uh, Victoria from being killed here. So, 
Barnabas is to make it to Widow's Hill, and Victoria is telling Barnabas that there can only be one way to save her, and that's for uh, Barnabas to make Victoria a vampire. And Barnabas is like, well, there's got to be some other way, and there just isn't enough time to think of anything else. So Barnabas is to go on and bite Victoria, and then when she falls to her death, she then awakens, and she is to be this vampire. And it seems that there might possibly be, like, a possibility where maybe Victoria and Josette are kind of one of the same here. And that Barnabas is to re-again find his true love and is to be able to uh, go on and... Uh, and kind of have this happy ending here. And we eventually kind of leave off with Dr. Hoffman, who is supposedly in the water, drowning, and is to wake up and like, hmm. So we may go on and have Dr. Hoffman, who is still possibly a vampire, because uh, I'm assuming she probably wouldn't be anything else. Uh, unless she would be somehow a zombie or something like that. <laughs> who knows? Uh, but with that said... I think that technically does cover most of this film. Uh, this review might have been uh, like fairly uh, rushed as far as detail goes, but you know, um, again, this movie is just fairly simple. Uh, there might have been some deets that I just didn't go into far that much about, and I just kind of went on and just kind of riffed and whatever. So with that said, I'm just going to get out of here. Plus, I just wanted to also just kind of make a short review. I really feel that I need to get out of here because I'm just like uh, I'm fading away into the 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 life of which to to go on and, and get this thing called rest. So with that said, uh, thank you for watching this. Thank you for going on and watching any of the videos that I do because I really do appreciate it. Um, let me know how like if you went on to the end of this, just kind of let me know about the dark shadows and whatever. Like, there might be some people that are just fans of this, uh, fans of the movie, fans of the show, you know, fans of just stuff like this, like monsters and, like, all those kinds of things. So, uh, people might have not even known that Rob Zombie might be going on and doing, like, his version of uh, the monsters, possibly, who knows, that may never really be a thing. Uh... I don't know, like, I would always love to see, like, a very, like, darker variation of something. And Rob Zombie might be the person to have done that. Uh, possibly with the monsters, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but anyways, I think I'm gonna go on and just get out of here. Uh, yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Uh, let me know if there's something that I probably forgot about during spoilers also, because that's normally a thing. Uh, that eventually I will go on and be like, oh, okay, well, I didn't do all of those details, but in a ballpark in the way, I was fairly close. Uh, other than that, yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.